Welcome back to No Sticks, No Bricks. As you can see, we got a water site. In this video, we're gonna tell you all about how you can get a site just like this for 14 bucks a night. All right, so we're at Sugar Bottom Corps of Engineer Park here in uh, Iowa. It's just outside of North Liberty, Iowa. It's on Coralville Lake. They've got these amazing waterfront sites right here. They're 30 amp, no water, no sewer, but they do have a dump station. They do have water fill stations, but let me show you this site because that's pretty awesome. So we are directly across the boat launch, so that's pretty cool watching everybody bring their boats in and taking them out of the water and stuff, so that's pretty fun. Our friends Susie and Ryan and my sister and my niece and nephews came over yesterday. We took their boat and jet skis out and we had a blast. It's been nice. It's going to be hard to leave this place. So we're in site 180. What's really cool about this site as well is there's actually a water fill station right behind us. Right there. So if we get it low on water, I don't even need to use the water bag. I got a couple different hoses so I can connect them together and I can reach that. So that's convenient. Now you may be wondering, how do you get a site like this for only $14 a night? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's with the America the Beautiful Pass, but it has to be one of the interagency passes. I did a TikTok video on this about a year ago and holy cow, it blew up and I gave out some wrong information and it seems that really nobody knows the correct information information whole bunch of comments everybody had different comments different ways that this these America the beautiful passes work when it comes to booking RV parks and saving money I even asked several Rangers at different parks and got about five different answers they don't even know but here's what I do know for sure so we have the America the beautiful pass the disabled veteran one I think it's just actually disabled it has a wheelchair on it I'll flash a picture up on the screen that one I know for sure 100% that you can book Corps of Engineer Parks, National Forest Parks for 50% off. Now there are several different variations of the America the Beautiful Pass. There's a veteran pass for just regular veterans that aren't disabled. And I have heard some people are able to book those for half off and some aren't. So really the only way to do it is get whatever pass you want to get. Try to book your reservation on recreation.gov and see if it'll allow you to enter that pass number and save some money. Because no Nobody seems to know exactly which passes save you the money and trust me when I tell you if somebody says for sure that their pass does then somebody else is gonna tell you that theirs doesn't with the same exact pass it's crazy there doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason to which ones work but I know for sure that disabled one definitely works at least ours does so just Google America the beautiful passes go to the website do your research see what the latest changes are because it is literally all over the place so next we are heading to Branson Missouri back to the Branson area and we're staying on Table Rock Lake at another Corps of Engineer Park called Cape Fair we also got that one for half price. We have never had a problem with our America the Beautiful Pass booking these sites for half price. So we're really looking forward to that. We got a water site there as well. We're also meeting up with our friends John and Donna from the Cotty Womple Travelers. We're meeting our friend Sonny who we were stationed with in Missouri when we were stationed at Whiteman Air Force Base years ago. We're going to be there two weeks so we're looking forward to that. It's supposed to be super super hot but uh, luckily that Corps of Engineer Park actually has a 50 amp hookup for us. We'll be able to run all three AC but right now we got some storms coming in on the radar you can see it's starting to build up right now so it's time to take these sunshades down and put them to bed tomorrow's our last day here and we're supposed to get a bunch of storms tomorrow and then we got a travel day the next day we're gonna stay at a harvest host on the way down to Branson so time to put these up I get a lot of questions about the sunshades and I wanted to show you how I secure them real quick. My buddy Clay from Our Road Less Travel hooked me up with these screws and they come in at different sizes, different pack. 
I will uh, put a link to their Amazon store in this video so you can get yourself some. And then I have the attachment for the drill. And you just use the drill, screw these bad boys in, use a bungee cord, it goes underneath the head of the bolt, and the other connects to the sunshade. Works like a champ. I just got these extra long bungee cords at Walmart. I think they're 42 inches long or something like that, but uh, yeah, that way you can get those sunshades way out and increase your living space. Of course, you wanna make sure you stay in within your site boundaries, right? So here's a little trick for you. For those of you that have momentums like we do, and you have Starlink, as you can see where we got the cable ran over there. But there's a little cutout on each side of the door that you can use for when you close the door. Check this out. So it's about right there, about um, almost to the edge of this reverse lights. But look, <laughs> plenty of slack. If you try to put it below or above this, then there's a chance you're gonna pinch your cord. But on both sides, you got that nice little area right there. So ask me how I know about pinching the cord. <laughs> Well, it's a travel day. We're heading down towards Branson. We actually changed our plans. We were gonna stay at a Harvest Host tonight, but it's supposed to be like 100 degrees and humid. So we audible, and now we're staying at uh, Wakanda State Park. Wakanda forever! It's in uh, LaGrange, Missouri. Just gonna stay there one night and then uh, head down to Branson tomorrow. We got a huge storm heading our way, so we're trying to get ahead of it. I think we should change our channel name to like Storm Magnets. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but if you have the My Radar app and you have Apple CarPlay, you can now use it through Apple CarPlay. So that's kind of nice. It gives you a nice big picture of live radar on travel days. So. starting to pick up I can feel it rocking and rolling the RV so we're gonna exit and ride this thing out because there's no way I'm gonna try to tow with this nasty looking storm I don't know how high the winds are but once I start feeling the RV moving around it's not worth it just pull over I got a little antsy pants. <laughs> so we're pulled over in the Casey's parking lot and uh, good thing we pulled over because that wind really picked up now Itty bitty's not liking it. Oh no. <laughs> Axel, what do you think? You doing okay? Yeah, look. There's Jen. I my gun clipped her so I can just hold her. Oh. So Jen's parked underneath the pumps in case there's hail. We ain't gonna fit. <laughs> so you wanna become a full time RVer and traveler? You gotta deal with stuff like this. You gotta be able to flex. It's one of the most important things about this lifestyle. It's being flexible. Holy cow, it's like stepping into an oven. Remember when I was talking about the key to full-time RV living and travel is to be flexible? Well, we had to be flexible again. So yesterday's travel day was a nightmare. It was a little over 300 miles. We went from Oconda State Park, which was nice. We were only there for one night, but it was a decent state park. Drove all the way down to Cape Fair, Corps of Engineer Park on Table Rock Lake, uh, south of Brainston, Missouri, and we could not fit into our site. <laughs> So that's one disadvantage of the Corps of Engineer parks. A lot of them are older parks and they're just not built for uh, these large rigs that people have today like us. The site itself said it would fit our rig. It was like 50 feet long, but the problem was there was too much of an angle to get into it. We we're actually dragging our exhaust for our generator on the asphalt because the pitch was just so much from the top of the site to the bottom of the site. And then in the front of the site, I had nowhere to go because it was a large drop off. Off. so 
We tried to stuff it in there, it just wouldn't work. They tried to move us to another site, to try to get in that one. Of course, I had two huge trees on either side of the site. Couldn't get in there either. So we had to scramble and try to change our plans because by the time we left Cape Fair, knowing that we weren't gonna get in there, it was almost seven o'clock and we're supposed to be there for two weeks. So now we're in scramble mode and we're meeting up with John and Donna from the Cottywample Travelers. So we let them know that we weren't gonna be able to fit and they got a pretty big rig themselves. So they probably wouldn't be able to fit. So we both utilized our uh, RPI membership, our Resorts Parks International membership, and now are at Treasure Lakes RV Park. And this is in Branson, basically. Pretty nice, it's a huge park. They got like 577 sites or something like that. It's full hookups. Um, with our RPI membership, it's 25 bucks a night. It's 10 bucks a night through the membership. And then they have a $15 utility charge that they have. So 25 bucks a night, that'll work. So we got pretty lucky with that. And then um, John and Donna weren't able to book it here too. So check this out. They're right across from us. So there's John and Donna. So it's a 50 amp full hookup site, which is nice. We weren't gonna have full hookups at the Corps of Engineer Park. We did have water and electric, but no sewer. And um, it is so hot and humid right now this week in Branson. It's like over 100 degrees every day with the heat index. And we've got all three ACs cranking, so we're very thankful for the 50 amp service. All right, let me show you this site real quick. So the site's uh, concrete, so that's nice. It's not quite long enough for all of our stuff. We can't put the patio down, which is fine because it's so hot, we want it up right now anyway. And then I've got the truck parked at Overflow Parking next to the bathhouse. So we're looking forward to hanging out here for the next couple weeks. We're gonna try to meet up with Ken Whitaker, who's uh, always on our Facebook page and commenting and everything. So we love you, Ken, we appreciate you. And we're also gonna try to meet up with the Rips on the Road. We actually met them last year at the Grand Design at National Rally. They were right next to us, so we're hoping to meet up with them as well. And then of course, take in all the activities that Branson has to offer. This is very touristy here, and uh, they got a lot of cool stuff. Might have to go check out the Titanic Museum. Well, that's it for this week, guys. And until next week, safe travels.